We want to solve the system of linear equations by graphing. To solve a system of equations by graphing, we graph both equations on the same coordinate plane and interpret their results. Now the solution to this system of equations should be obvious because notice how the first equation only contains y and the second equation only contains x. So the ordered pair that satisfies this system would have to be the ordered pair three comma five. So let's go ahead and go through the process of graphing both linear equations to determine the solution. So we first want to graph y equals five, which we should recognize is a horizontal line passing through the vertical axis at five, and therefore y equals five is this line here. Notice every point on this line has a y coordinate of five. But just in case we don't recognize this, remember we can always make a table of values to graph a line. So let's make a table of values for y equals five. And let's go ahead and find three ordered pairs that satisfy this equation. So we'll begin by selecting three x values. Let's go ahead and use zero, one, and two. But because the equation is y equals five, y must always be five. So when x is zero, x is one, and x is two, y is always five. These ordered pairs give us three points on the line. So zero comma five is the vertical intercept, this point here. One comma five is this point, and two comma five is this point. Notice how this verifies y equals five is this horizontal line. Next we have x equals three. For x equals three, we should recognize this is going to be a vertical line passing through the horizontal axis at x equals three, and we look like this. Notice every point on this vertical line has an x-coordinate of three. But again, just in case we don't recognize this, let's also make a table of values for the equation x equals three. Normally when making a table of values, we select any x value that we want, but in this case, because the equation is x equals three, x must always equal three. So to find three ordered pairs, the x-coordinates will always be three. But because the equation does not contain y, y can be any real number, plus that y equals zero, one, and two, and let's go ahead and plot these three points. So three comma zero is the horizontal intercept, three comma one is this point, and three comma two is this point. This verifies x equals three is this vertical line, and now the solution is the point of intersection, which should be this point here. And notice how the ordered pair for this point is three comma five. So this is our solution, which again should have been obvious because of the equations x equals three and y equals five. I hope you found this helpful.